10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready or not, here I come. Tony? You know my parents' room is off limits, right? Aaron? What? It's Tony's mother on the phone. Do you know if Tony went straight home after choir practice? No, no, no. I, I know. No, no. I'm, Heather, I know. I know. Just, just calm down. Aaron? Tony came home with me after school. Well, then where is he? After choir, we did our paper routes. Tony beat me as usual. We met back at the paper shack at about 4.30. Tony said he was hungry, so we came back here for bagels and cream cheese. And then I suggested we play hide and seek. But Tony didn't want to play hide and seek. Why not? He always said that. No, I mean. And then I said, please, and he said, okay. Nothing was more important to Tony than manners. He always put his napkin on his lap, even for a snack. So who did the hiding and who did the seeking? Tony. Tony would always hide first. So I counted to 10 and told him I was on my way. And then he was gone. Yes. If there were one thing you could say to Tony today, Aaron, one thing, what would it be? Did you sleep in your amware last night? Yes. Honey, we'll understand if you want to stay home from school today. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. singing in choir these days. La, 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 la,
And I know you know if a stranger asks you to get in his car, you say no. And if he has candy, same thing. I know you know all this, but I gotta say it. Just like I did when Wendy Chung went missing last fall and Tammy Stone a few years back. And Lisa McKay, who God thankfully returned to us. Hi, Lisa. I've said it before, and I will say it again. You should keep your pencils nice and sharp. You have got to... Yes, Aaron. Can I have an excuse to go to the bathroom? Aaron, you know you can come to us whenever you need. Not even my real father. Aaron. This isn't normal, Gwen. He isn't normal. No, he is. It's, it's He's really peeing in his desk. I know. Some of the things he's probably peeing. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to do your best to try and answer them as honestly as you can. Okay? Okay. What do you miss most about Tony? He was my best friend. We used to do everything together. We both loved to sing. He was a soloist in the school choir. His family took me to Disneyland in grade four, and after grade five, he came with my family to Disney World. That's in Orlando. Yeah, we used to have a lot of sleepovers. Mainly at my house because I have bunk beds, he had a trundle. We used to always fight for the top bunk and I would always get stuck with the bottom. There was this one time that Tony slept over. He woke me up in the morning and showed me through the crack of my parents' door. My stepdad was naked and he was doing sit-ups. Tony thought this was funny. Did you think it was funny? I guess so. I don't think Dr. Key Problem was, I couldn't stop picturing Harry without his clothes. I told Tony this and he said I was weird. I didn't want to see Harry naked. But I couldn't help it. And then one day, I just stopped picturing him this way. All done. That was around the time we had the substitute teacher. It wasn't like the other teachers. He let us call him Mike. Excuse me while I go have a word with your mother. Well, it seems your son is suffering from what we call an identity crisis. You're not gonna put him on drugs, are you? No, please don't worry. Oh, thank God. First, we'll try hypnosis. I can hear you. Breaking news. The body of 12-year-old Tony Bryant was found late this afternoon in the woods behind Canyon Crescent Elementary. Police are saying nothing so far about cause of death. An autopsy is scheduled for later this week. His mother, Heather Bryant, has this to say about today's 
It looks like we have our new soloist. Tony would be proud. Do you know the lyrics? Yeah. Disappeared. What do you see? I'm in the kitchen. I'm looking in the cupboard below the sink. What are you looking for? Tony. Now what do you see? I'm in the garage. I can't find him anywhere. I'm a thousand mercenary family. Tell me what you see. The armor. What about the armor? Tony's not in there. what you're seeing. Nothing. I see nothing. What did you remember, Aaron? Nothing. Where's my armoire? It's in the garage. It's not normal to sleep in a wardrobe. You have a very nice bed, you know.
nothing. I dare you to get back Neil Moore. Not until you say you're sorry. What for? For making me play your games. Let me out, Tony, please. I can't breathe. You liked it in there before, didn't you? Please, Tony! Not until you say you're sorry. I'm, I'm sorry! Not until you count to 100. Count to 100 and I'll let you out. Your turn. Truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to stick your fork in that outlet. Tony. Close your eyes, rest your head, you are falling deeper, watch the shore getting small as we both sail away, feel the breeze on your face as we're getting farther, hear the waves as they crash and we both sail away.
tree.